Hi and welcome. I'm Lisa. Thanks for joining me here on my website or YouTube channel for another card video. I'm sharing how I use the new Starring Hearts 6x6 paper pad to create quick and simple slimline shaker cards and a quick tip on heat embossing digital sentiments in this video. I'll link the products below. Also, be sure to check out my video featuring the new Candy Mouse Clear Stamp from the Whimsy Stamps release, and I'll have that listed at the end of this video for you. Now, here's a quick look at that 6x6 Starring Hearts paper pad from the January 2020 release over at Whimsy Stamps. Now, I really like this paper pad. I feel like you're going to get the best of both worlds with it. You're going to get bright, cheery, youthful patterns, but you also get soft, blush-colored, sketchy patterns. And I kind of feel like these are perfect for weddings and anniversaries and new babies. So, um, you can see how pretty that blush color is. It's just gorgeous. I also love the mix of the hearts and the stars and the fun patterns. They're very youthful. I love this. Reminds me of Minnie Mouse. Okay, so back on track. Um, now look at that paper. I love it. Mm, the black and white especially. All right, so next up, we're going to do some sentiments with digital sentiments. Now, this is the Say It Big Whimsy Stamps digital sentiments. And the first thing I did was print it on some inexpensive printer paper. And then I've cut a small piece of Judicans Embossable Window Plastic, and I've laid down a generous amount of anti-static powder. Now, I just made sure that that word was centered on my plastic piece by laying the die cut down. And now I'm just gonna trace over it with my Versamarker pen and voila. We're gonna add some gold embossing powder to this and clean off that excess powder. And then we're gonna come in with a preheated heat gun and heat set this. And we have our sentiment ready to go. Now you can do this with any of the sentiments and any embossing powder. I've laid down some double-sided adhesive to the back of the die cut frame so I can adhere the embossed plastic. Now you wanna be sure you press down firmly. This is the window to our shaker. So, now I went ahead and created a backer. I just cut a piece of 80 pound cardstock to three inches by eight inches and it just makes things easier. And I went ahead and I cut my pattern paper to the size that I need. So I did four one and a half by one and a half inch pieces and two pieces at one and a half inches by three inches. I'm just using my ATG tape to adhere the paper to the back of paper. And you can see how easily this comes together. And I wanted to tell you that you can use any die cuts that have several windows in them to create this. I just grabbed the Slimline Windows die. But while I was working on this, I thought the Slimline Waves die would be great for summer and beachy scenes. Okay, so I've added mounting foam strips to the back of that die cut frame. Now, I love foam strips because they really make things easier. No more cutting mounting tape or foam to make strips, gumming up your scissors and all that fun stuff. I'm gonna remove the paper backing from the foam and then I'm gonna lay my sequins down. Now this is a sequin mix that I just put together out of some stuff I have. And you, when you lay it down, you wanna be sure your sequins are in the very center of that window because you don't wanna get any sequins trapped between the paper and the mounting foam. You want a really nice tight bond between the paper and that mounting foam. So you don't have sequins flying everywhere when you shake it. So there it is. Pretty simple, huh? Okay, so I do want to tell you that I did make one of these without that backer piece. And just let me say, that is never going to happen again because it makes all the difference in the world. So I'm just using some Gina K liquid adhesive to adhere this to our card base. Now this card base measures three and a half by eight and a half. Not quite as big as a regular slimline card, but it still fits the bill. So we're done. So easy. So here's a look at some of the others that I made. Uh, I was really on a ball with these shaker cards. I really love this though. It's easy and it's fun. And once you start it, start with it, you just don't want to stop. So the top one there is my favorite, this one here. It makes me think of Minnie Mouse for some reason. I don't know why, but that always makes me happy. 
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed joining me today and I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to this channel. Now, if you could hit the like button, that would be awesome also. And be sure to subscribe to my website where you can find blog posts, a few free printables, and helpful tips and tricks in one spot. As always, please know how much I appreciate you taking the time to join me here. And as always, keep crafting.